Pin hop Miami Beach. Yeah, yo. Niggas talk crazy on tweets. They don't want it cause I come to defeat. They don't want it. And above all things, have fervent love for one another. For love will cover a multitude of sins. First Peter 4 8. Hey everyone, I'm back. My eyebrows are already on fleek. First things I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my NYX primer to get my face nice and smooth. Um, and I focus a lot on my nose area because that's where I get most oily. I'm gonna go in with this. Nope, not yet. I'm gonna go in with my concealer and I'm going to blend that in. So that can be our base, our foundation. So when that we apply that eyeshadow, it'll be very bold and just smooth and last longer. So I'm gonna set that in with my Fit Me powder. Um, I forgot the color, but comment down below if you want to know the color. So I'm going to blend in that burgundy color that you saw me show before I put on that concealer. And I'm just putting that on the tip of my lids, just blending it on both sides and I'm making sure they match. Now I'm going to go on with that purple and I'm going to place that right on top of that burgundy. And um, I just create a bolder look and I just like that dark effect that it creates. Now I'm going in with a black. You can use any black that you want. I'm using it from my Morph palette and I'm just putting that on the end of my crease. And then I'm going to go in with a buffer brush to blend it. I'm blending it, blending it, blending it because that's the key, y'all. That is what's going to give you the most effective and just pop, pop and look. So I'm going to go in with my concealer to create um, a cut crease. Well, not really a cut crease because this is very like not perfect. It's not perfect at all. It's just like a semi cut crease, I guess you can call that. I didn't take it all the way to the end. I just kept it um, like, you know, like on half of my lids. So I used my Morph palette and I went in with that goldish color and I placed that in the middle of my lid. Then I went in with that lighter color from my Morph palette that I showed y'all. And that lighter, that lighter gold color and I put that in the beginning of my eyebrow. So I'm just, you know, doing the same thing on the other side of the lid. And I'm just creating this, like, effect, I guess. Because I didn't really know what I was going to do, y'all, till I started this video. So, yeah, guys. And I ended up loving this look, y'all. Love, love, love. So then I went back in with the burgundy and the purple. And I kind of just color, um, defined the top some more. Now I'm going in with my Fenty Beauty Foundation. I'm going to just list everything below because I do not remember, y'all. And the color, I think it's 390, but I'm going to put everything in the description box. Um, and I'm blending that in with my Real Technique brush. And then I'm going to go right on top of it with my Damp Beauty Sponge to make sure it's completely blended. Now I'm going in with my Tarte Concealer in the color Rich Tan. Again, it will be in the description box. Um, and then I'm going to go on top of it with my LA Pro Concealer in the color Dark Cocoa to balance it out um, and get the color that I want. So the trick, y'all, using a damp beauty blender to um, smooth it out. So the trick is to bring the concealer out. So you see on my cheeks, I bring it all the way out because I have a rounder face. It just creates... Um, just a balanced face if that makes sense and if you had a um longer face you would bring it in a little bit if that makes sense so i'm blending that out then i went on top um and contoured with my black radiance medium to dark palette i used the darkest color of course and i just put that you know in the areas then i went on top with my volcano eyeshadow yes eyeshadow from my morph palette and i put that on my cheeks and on my nose and all my contoured areas and i love it so much y'all like if it ain't broke don't fix it that's what i've always done since the beginning and i love it love it love it so now y'all i'm just blending everything in and now i'm gonna go back in with my fit me powder and i'm just going to put that on all the parts that i highlighted and i don't leave it for long I wipe it right off 
because I don't want to look like a ghost. So, like, no. So, I blend it right off my face. And I just kind of make sure I remove all the harsh lines and all that good stuff. Now, you see I'm blending everything in. Blend, 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 blend. That's the key. Um, so now I'm going in with my Desnatch Minks link below. You already know. www.desnatchbeauty.com. Get yours today. I went in with my liner from e.l.f. And I always be careful because, like, I always, always, I don't want to say I always mess it up, but in a way I do. <laughs> so now I went in with my black eyeliner and I just put that on the bottom of my lid. On top of that, I put my mascara. Went back in with my eyeshadows to fix the areas that I messed up with my eyeliner. Like I said, y'all, it's a struggle. Then I went in with my e.l.f. Um, setting spray and I loved it, y'all. So now I'm here with my Bloodshot Matte Liquid Lipstick from Morph. I'm so in love. It smells so good. Um, and I'm just applying that to my lips, y'all. That was the final thing. Look at my brother, like, just bothering me in the video, y'all. <laughs> but, yeah, guys, that's the final look. I hope you guys enjoy. Oh, yeah. And then, of course, you, I got to finish it off with my highlighter. Go deposit by MAC, period. But yeah, I love you all for real. Like, thank you for watching. You already know I'm repping Haiti with my Haitian flag. I love you all. See you guys next time. Like, comment, and subscribe. Bye. <laughs>